in honor of Martin Luther King Day, I'd like to take a little bit of a historical trip back to the time when the first black American sat down for dinner in the White House with a president. Before we get to that point, I want to go to November of 1899, and that is when Garrett Hobart was vice president to McKinley. And on November the 21st of that year, 1899, Hobart will die. It is notable that of the four of the six vice presidents that had died up to that point, four of them had died in the month of November and all within a day or two of the 21st of the month. Just a bit of a historical trivial point. Teddy Roosevelt will become the next vice president. McKinley will be assassinated and on the first day that TR is in the White House, he will only have one piece of correspondence that will go out. That correspondence goes to Booker T. Washington, the famed slave. And the note detailed how Teddy Roosevelt wanted to talk with Booker Washington about what they could do for further selections of individuals to serve in the South in different capacities. A couple of weeks after that announcement goes out, TR will send an actual letter to Booker Washington inviting him to have dinner at the White House. It will be formal attire. The dinner will take place in the state dining room. It will also create a backlash across the country. At that point, the people in the North were not so interested in the civil rights of African Americans. They were more interested in using the black labor within the Northern industries. And of course, in the South, post-construction was a very vivid memory and also the caste system was very much being employed against those people uh, of African descent. And so there was a lot of blowback from the dinner at the White House. Teddy Roosevelt will ask none other than Mark Twain what he thought of the invite that had taken place for Booker to come to dinner at the White House. And Mark Twain will say that he thought it was inappropriate, thought that it was not up to the president to decide what his personal views should be about African-American relations foisted upon the nation as a whole and taking place at the White House. Just an interesting part of history and how far we have come, but it's interesting to know where it all started and the steps we have taken in our progress as we observe today, Martin Luther King Day in America. And this weekend is very important in that regard. Stay safe, wear a mask, and be good.